Frag Out. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Frag Out has changed his name. I know we've seen this a, a couple times more than we should have from Delana, who chooses to keep being Delana, but keeps changing the way he spells it. I think he's up to like number seven now. So didn't hey, know that. I don't was possible. mind that. I don't mind that as much as, as yeah. other things, right? That, that's way better than actually changing the name straight up because I yeah. have referred to players by completely different names in the past. And I'm going to be referring to Seek Out as Frag Out most of this time. But well, he, he listen, listen. I understand why he changed the name, right? He was frag out. He used fixer. He used phantom, and he uses Kestrel, and he was fragging out. Now his job True. is just to seek out the intel for his teammate as the seeker. So the name suits him, I think, and that's exactly what's happening. We will see the seeker coming out from both sides, and that's to be expected with these high competitive tiered teams. Yeah, of course. Teams who really understand the meta. So the Dahlia's there too. The Anvil. Literally straight up mirror match on both sides. So lockdown, a map that may be a little more figured out. We're not seeing a ton of range unless we see the talents pick up the dead eye. I could see that being a duel on the outside, maybe. But you want your talent inside to throw that radar to, to get some info inside on B. I want to see where this where Iron Ape's decided to go early here. Well, I want to see two talent darts collide with each other in midair. I just thought about this. Like, that's something I haven't seen, man. I mean, the odds of it are so... So low. Bobs are getting, uh... Oh, they both deleted. threw C4s at each other, and they... Okay, I see what happened here. Just as I said, I want to see two darts collide. We see two C4s collide. Just making a stack of pancakes there. Uh. Up front, blue. Oh, the push! On top, it, it could have been so good. Cool now coming in, but the trade is in the backside from Delana. They have the crossfire. I don't think they know Corrupt now trying to deal with it, but Delana connects every single shot. It's only remix left. Delana smells blood, but Gronk, Gronky will do it himself there near the very end. What a start for Delana here. On the Talon, just sit back. Let the frags come to you. Yeah, and that's something that we don't hype up enough, and that's just the fact that Delana frags, man. I talked about him a little bit earlier in our first matchup when I was talking about the Dahlia that chose to go with the MXR. That's something that we see a lot out of Delana when he uses the the Dahlia to, in his hands, right? Because Delana is one of the best pure shooters in the game right now, and... We always talk about Frag Out getting a ton of kills. We talk about Gronky getting a ton of kills. We talk about Bobster going crazy with just Util and Melees and stuff. And Delano, he's kind of like the, the quiet Fragger, right? He just sits in the back, does his job, gets it done. And that's kind of, I guess that's what they wanted. That's why they they, they shifted away from, from Cool initially. And they wanted a player who was going to be there all the time for practice and did their job. You know, that was it doesn't need to be a crazy pop-off player, even though Delano does that all the time. But will hold the angles and protect the rest of the team help them stall out pushes here on b things already getting slowed down a little bit early but they have that garage door control you can see gronky had that space at least being contested but they're giving up a little bit here to bait them in maybe and play on those angles that they have oh, starting to get their bomb planted now they did use the shield so they will have that available. They used it a little early on to begin in the first round, but this time they used it to secure that plant. Post plant not working out totally in their favor, though. Bobster did find highlight with a C4. They got that down, but they couldn't finish it off. And the bomb, though, is they're only far forward. Someone's going to have to commit for it. Do they have someone to fight it? Highlight pushes forward, and here comes three members of Cute Hamsters trying to swarm in, but getting delayed too much by the crossfire from Cool over there by Red. How will they play their outside angle? Cool so low. Who even hit him there? It must have been Edgehog from the Dead Eye the second he tried to peek. Cool, obviously not going to contest that anytime soon. Willing to fight it for now, but with this bomb down, Cute Hamsters have to find a way in it. It's going to have to be 2v1s on each side, but they're going to take a 3v1 stack and a flood up front to make up for the difference. That's one down already. They lost Delano in the process because of that crossfire that Cool had, but just making it in is the first step. Can't get in for the shield. Have to play off the garage door control. What can they find with it? There's a down from Frank out there in the door. They'll finish it off as well. Two versus three with that extra down they have. They might go for the res, but they are running low on time. Here comes the push from Cool. Coming with punches down in Delano is the shield. Up in time, will Fraggle be able to peel for them? Cool gets another down with the melee turning into a boxing ring and denies the defuse. Are you kidding me? Everybody's dead, but Cool just, you know, talk about him here because he's in the fight club. You know, we talk about Cool Map from Paladins being one of the best pure DPS players due to his aim. He comes in this game, he has godlike aim once again. This time, he's just running around with the fisticuffs, no melee in his hand. He's just putting the pain on people. He's looking like, I don't even know right now, man. 
What a play. Two of them, not just one, but two of them. Was he out of bullets? He must have been, right? I mean, you don't, you don't in any good gun just do that without, without a loaded gun. Like, also, you, you, you know, it's kind of hard if you get in like Delana's face. Delana pulls out the gun and <laughs> you're just not ready for someone to start knocking you upside your head, right? There's no way he was doing it for the mental damage, man. No way that that was his game plan. The first one not. I can say yes to, but the second one, yeah, he's out of bullets, man. He just <laughs> ran across the room about 10 feet away. Well, that's how that's how strong having the bomb down can be, right? Just getting the ability to run in and punch, and it's enough because you're making a distraction. I was talking about pre about the dead eyes out in mid. There's cool in the exact position I thought he'd be in. He wins the long range duel so he can take tower. Get some space for himself. Both members of Cute Hamsters that are still standing are inside. Holding that ground, but the they get Bobster down trying to push. It's a one versus four. All on Delena here. Who I don't know if they know where Delena's positioned right now. You can see them slowly working around this outside area, trying to find someone isolated, but I have a feeling that they're not gonna push for it. Probably just gonna go for exits on people trying not to die. I also like the fact that they pushed outside this time around. They went toward B two mm -hmm. straight times. It worked out one of the two. This time they like to go outside and they push into Seeker, find him very early on, and don't allow any revives to come through. So good play from them. And now look at this post plant. You got three members over there. Delena just sitting back here chilling, just waiting. Corrupt, though, playing it patiently, not allowing anyone to walk through that. Far enough away from the bomb where I don't, he's not going to get hit by it. So just play for it. And actually... Revealed Delena too, so now no chance of anyone accidentally going that way even. Who's Delena's top bragging for a cute hamster right now? He's top down and doing a good job, but just tough. Tough on defense here on lockdown. Bomb has been dropped. Let's see what cute hamsters does to adapt. I, I think I might wouldn't be shocked to see like a very aggressive round from them here now on the inside. If they all just decide to shove B, obviously a lot of info can be given away now by the airdrop. See the trails. If they all do stack that side and run in, they will know. Let's see what they can get from it. If this is the exact pace call that I was right to say. They're running in with flashes. They're taking this ground. It's just like I said, but they're not catching them on the right side. They went outside. It's a bit of a misread there from them. So now they have to make up for this. They have to go take some ground, take some long range duels. And Gronky, the only one really in a position to contest. I like this. They're playing a little bit more passively on the defensive side, too, not allowing Seeker to get pulled out or baited out as quickly as he did the round mm -hmm. before, so they need to keep him alive for the intel, especially if they're able to get this bomb planted, even though they're playing just for the position to not allow that bomb to go through. And they have this garage door control, which you always kind of say is so important, bomb but active. shield down, APS down. They're not going to be able to stop the bomb. This is why you kind of have to have a good read early. And it's tough when you commit everyone in one way to retake space when the attacking post plant position can be so strong. It just depends on what they can do with it and how much they can deny from them. Cool actually tried to push. He tried to push inside, got did, got crossfired by Delena and Bobsters. Now they're going to push in here a little bit further for Deadeye. Doing some damage onto Highlight. Trying to push in Corrupt. Has a crossfire but can't finish off the kill as they flood into sight. See some aim. They're turning 180. Did you have that last player? They might go for this defuse here. Who's alive? It's just the Seeker. How far back? It's corrupt. Closer to the garage door. They know he's got to be somewhere. Seek out. Frag out. Excuse me. Diving onto him. Loses that gunfight, but they got the defuse anyway. We're at a 50-50 split. Look at Delana just pre-firing. Left tower, right tower, top <laughs> tower. Why not? Wherever he goes, Delana's ready. Uh, with the MLX Maul picked up off of Highlight's body. Better <laughs> defense that time on the A site. Didn't allow them to set up any post-plant position. They kind of held off on the plant as quickly as they did the round before. Maybe that's just because they didn't get the initial pick. I I believe that is the reason. If Cute Hamster is able to hold the A as effectively again, I think you fake A and go towards the B site this time. It worked out a little bit better in round two for you. Yeah, but they're getting a read on them here. Both sides have really early arrows. Delina somehow picked off by Cool. It might have been outside, actually. No, it was actually, it was inside. So just picked off immediately from some spam. So they're forced out that stacking B early. Does not pay off for them. And they're all stuck right out here while this bomb is likely to get planted any second now. It's getting it up here, but caught inside two downs early from them. They have to play 
to get some reses now, but there's no way they're going to give them the chance to. Here comes the shove right through. They'll clean up everybody who's down and all pressure on Delena again. But I don't think anyone realistically expects that Delena makes good on this pressure. So three players down. Unless he can get a, sneak in and get a ninja, I, I highly doubt this round goes any way but to Iron Apes. That's a really good read from the attackers, too, to notice that Delena faded off of that backside of the B site and just went towards mid to maybe even get something towards garage door. Once they recognized that, they were able to get that pick on that back of the B and then just pushed in, finished off the last two members. The anvil going huge. C4, then gunned down the seeker. Nice plays from him. Oh, Delena, though, on uh, tower. Just as I give him his props. I mean... Tough to win a long-range battle with a dead eye, right? You, you, you took a, he took a fight that wasn't really going to work out for him yeah. at that range. Delana just ends up on the better end of it. And how do you expect him to just be sitting up in tower outside? That can't be all that common. Well, 1v4, you know, he's probably yeah. just going to give it up, so. Yeah, of course. He's going to be sitting somewhere. <laughs> can't check, can't check everywhere, so they face check. Sacrifice one player to be able to finish off the final kill. Iron Apes do get the lead here in round number five as we move into round number six. And could be B again. We see them stacking up here. This bow early will give them, tell them all they need to know. They see those three. They know there's one missing and they shove in. All that utility early does so much damage. But Bobster makes it in. Probably will get the shield down and have some space taken. They just have to have the crossfire for him. Gronk I can't see. There's a smoke there. Off. Yeah, for sure. But Delaney gets the first. That's an advantage. Good hamsters, and I know they're gonna want to pounce on it. Frag out pretty far forward, gets cool solo. Double shove though on him. They get one off that earlier damage that he gets, but Delena now with Gronky on this door, on this garage door, is cleaning up all of them. Force him to push into the crossfire. Bobster slows him down and gives cute hamsters all the time they need to set up and get this round. And one left in the half. Only one team will get the advantage out. Good smokes from the attack to block off Gronky's vision, but he stayed patient. Delena opening up the fight with the C4. I was also going to mention double C4s on both sides here in this first half. And then also no Kestrel. So big surprise to see no Kestrel at all. But again, these teams, they know exactly what they're trying to do with these compositions. They go with the double C4s. They go with the smokes off of Dahlia's. And they're working with them very well. Pretty even matchup, of course. Not just because of the similar compositions, but because the players know each and every single one of their tendencies. And they don't seem to have an answer to this aggressive anvil forward play tendency, though, Bobster. Spamming through a smoke there, highlight downed in front. Might be able to find something else, but has his own shield up, so. Ends up on the better end of that one here. Corrupt, though, winning against Gronky. Die from Bobster so far in here. Will the crossfire help? Can't do it. Cool is outside. But it's a two-on-two. Two. Iron Apes might be able to res some of their players to have a better chance here as they go for the one on Corrupt and getting spammed from the outside. So a tougher fight now for Cute Hamsters, especially with all the info that Iron Apes were just able to get. There's the, there's the flash on them, but no one's close enough to, to punish it and actually push. They're going to shift down to A more than likely. Try to get this bomb down, but actually they're staying inside. Delena rotating and gets revealed. They have to push now. They can't bait Delena like this, but Remix just rotates over. Finishes him off, and it's all on frag out. One versus three. I've got the team at this level. That's not going to be possible. He gets one, but walks right into the free fire. And Iron Apes, they end up on the better end of the half. Attacking on lockdown, 4-3 lead. Exactly what they were looking for here on map number one. Man, it's just so hard to, to be able to put yourself in these players' shoes because as soon as one team looks like they're gaining an advantage, it quickly shifts, right? The, the other team knows exactly how to play off of those plays. Uh, moment like instantly right it's that instinct that these players mm -hmm. have you saw one member go down in red and then all of a sudden the focus shifted towards lockers the anvil versus anvil he stayed alive but then he went down because the team in red turned around instantly you saw the flashbang come out and, and you saw the coverage right they go for the revive on the corrupt and they're mm -hmm. able to get it because of the cover fire from cool good rotation and adjustment from cool as well not just to go through mid to make sure that Gronky can't sit there like he did the round before so iron apes they deserve that fourth round there and they have the lead Understood. for a reason yeah they are looking like a team that understands this map very well and how they want to play against cute hamsters in particular but Cute Hamsters changed their, their comp up a little bit. We saw a full-on mirror match last round, but this time they're abandoning the Anvil. They're swapping the Dahlia for the Saint, valuing the Kestrel instead and that potential snowball potential, which I think makes sense on a half where you should be favored, though. Delena losing that first 
duel with Highlight had some follow up there for him, and all of them are outside now. But what can the other two players at Cute Hamster do? Are they getting delayed over on the other side? They are getting a bounce nade back on him, so what can they push for here? Gronky, not watching this space, you can see three members of Iron Apes looking, but unable to push just yet. Ah, uh, Cool is playing Garage Door this time on the opposite side through the B site. They do get the bomb planted, so a little bit of progress here for the attackers. A little bit, but they gotta get a lot more if they wanna turn the game around. The small lack of lead that they have, they get the shield down though. Highlight, going to start the defuse, has to stop it. Go for the C4, but they have two downs. Obviously, they're just playing to delay on the other side, but he's actually forced back. He doesn't want to commit to that. Even with the Kestrel down, Highlight finds the third, and now he's going to commit with Delena down. There's, I don't think there's anything Popster can do, especially with this pressure from Cool on the backside. Finds it down, but they're going to get the defuse here, and a great start on it on defense. Excuse me. Fire and Apes, they just, Highlight just walks in and stops everything for him. Yeah, Gronky finally bringing out the Kestrel for the first time in this matchup. So they they swap out the Dahlia, replace it with the uh, the, the Saint for Bobster. So they don't have an Anvil on attack, nor do they have the Dahlia. Uh, so the Saint Res, you know, you could have Helping Hand first round. I think Bobster just feels more comfortable on attack with that. Plus that, because you're swapping out Dahlia for Kestrel, you lose your smokes. So you have to swap out the Anvil for something that can have smoke smokes in your kit which of course if you're swapping out dahlia and you're losing smokes then of course saint is your obvious answer look at this right now them walking up halo drones this is going to be huge with gronky taking this ground from them three down for him only the seeker left standing and they just win that one immediately that flash plus the arrow just lets them walk straight into the site isolate them they punish any chance to flood into b that iron apes try to take yeah, just a heads-up play from Gronky. Pushed the opposite side of mid next to lockers. Notices there's two there. Doesn't matter if they're low health or not. They can't escape that unless they go out in the open and get shot by his teammates. So puts the Halo drones on him, then turns to his right and sees someone crossing from red to try and take him out. He takes them out first. Good play from the Kestrel. Huge heads-up play for the Halo drones, too. I mean, just knowing that if I get these two kills, or I know that there's people here. Exactly, not shooting his yeah. gun, just putting out the Halos right yep. away. So they don't, and they, they put don't the shield there, out. too, so they trap mm -hmm. themselves in there. Yeah, 100%. And having that space without that coverage. Oh, my God, Bobster. Timing, syncing up with Delane, I think. Two DMRs outside. Corrupt might be able to get res. No bounce nade completely yeah, denies that chance. Um, we'll go down. Delena caught out on the rotation, but I think they have the Saint to go for it tries to push but bop is there not only getting the res but also getting the protection grunky finds that next one as well it's only a remix left getting pocket mxr from across the map forced out grunky on the chase use the halo drones forward it's just the dahlia left and they're going to cover every choke point and deny remix any chance to get back in and go for this defuse i like that play from the saint easily getting it down at the start of the round I, you know i just said you lose smokes and you lose the revive if you get rid of the dahlia and the composition so they bring in the saint but saint i think the mamba's a little bit better than the mxr right now so you're, you're kind of gaining something even though you're losing lifeline you only get a helping hand but hey you don't have to link to a specific person for that revive from across the map you can do it with the drone onto any of your teammates and you get the mamba and that is exactly what you can do with the mamba right there bobster shows he smokes that left side just to shut down the anvil for the time being gets an initial pick very early into the round starts that fight off very strong for them they get a bomb plant highlight did well he got the down onto town after the bomb plant but again he shot the the sensor drone and then turned the corner and looked in the wrong direction yeah, tough, I think, uh, for the defending team when they had that pressure early. Just losing someone right away, the attacking team can't take so many angles that oh, you can't really available. He might try to make a play here, go so towards that middle here. console, and then put out drones. Maybe, but I think they know. I think they spotted him with that with that dart, so they know that someone's there. They don't necessarily know that it's a Kestrel. He's probably going to do a little bit further left or maybe wait for someone to commit with a roll and then catch him afterwards, but he just saw an arm. He might go for something. They get the that, dart, they are stacked oh, that back could have been there. A... Good call, good call, Blue catching him out there. Highlight down and just annihilated. There is a flank from Garage Door, but again, they'll have the res thanks to the Saint. And I'm not sure how much the Iron Apes can actually take back here. They're brawling for it, but Delena and Bobster, so much damage with the utility. 
clean up everything. Yeah, I don't know yeah, if he shot the actual Talon dart or he shot a sensor, uh, a sensor drone from the Seeker, but nonetheless, he shot something that was giving intel, mm -hmm. and then exactly what they needed to do. It, you saw he doesn't have to get over aggressive with the console play, like I was saying, right? Mm -hmm. He could just be patient. Yeah, they know he's there, but guess what? They gotta come kill him, man, because if he doesn't move, the bomb's ticking, man, and they move towards him. Puts it on the right side of the console, shoots towards the left side. Classic Kestrel play. Big heads up from him once again. Gronky didn't do so well with the Dahlia, but now he's starting to make plays. And that's something we're used to seeing. Oh, what a short bounce. That thing came in at 100 miles an hour, and now the same exact play as last time. This is why you can't go as forward as you are. And hey, they don't have a Kestrel to really punish this, so the rest of them are starting to go in. Corrupt does get one somehow. They will likely get rezzed trying to stop it they everyone gets standing seek out frag out pushes for that last one and now that two hamsters are on the attack they're starting to run away with this they have a very good idea how they want to play it yeah exactly three straight rounds for them too they were down five four they've come out the last three rounds really with a fire in their selves right and kestrel i mean once again gronky that's three straight rounds where he's just made the play of the game or he's gotten the first pick and opened up the fight or he's just shown the the better aggression and he's made the better plays and right now he's looking like uh, the, the playmaker for this cute hamsters team on lockdown mvp i would say so far in on this half they get some spotting again they they get all that same intel they get that flash and they take that early presence but this time they lose the first pick and they have to go for the reds because it is pop that's down will iron apes take advantage of it they're already taking this left side and they pushed in got double down with that C4, one was bop again, so no pickups for them. They clean up both, and they are flooding from over. They go right over that, that C4. They get knocked so low, but no one else can finish up on the kills. Living at this pick on Remix, and Delena wasn't there. Was planting over on A. They were hoping that it, it would be a good play, but losing so many people. Delena in a one versus four. Yeah, Delena has the bomb down, but one on four. Uh, so unrealistic. Especially because Delaney's just leaving the bomb site now. Uh, he was trying to get a little sneaky kill from behind them, but they spotted him out quickly. So now the shield will go down. They're going to isolate him to this side of the map, not let him cross. He's going to have to give this up. It's okay. I mean, it, it'll be 7-6, but still, that that's one you, you really got to grind your teeth on when you go back and, and look and say, what really went wrong? You know, maybe we were expecting a, a triple C4 there from Bop, and that really would have made it an even fight, even given them the advantage. Two to one with a bomb planted by Delena, but that didn't work out in their favor. They survived that C4. They got the revive on the one person that went down. They just, re the defense responded to the way the Kestrel's been playing the B site for the last three rounds and they responded well. So this time it didn't work out. Now Gronky's gonna have to change up the play. They give him the bomb. So it could be a little cheeky red room play from Kestrel. Yeah, well, we're definitely not gonna see him do the same thing he did last time. He's gonna play a lot slower. He was revealed, but it looks like they're showing face and then bailing. How do they have the rotation? Bomb gets down. I don't think they have that intel quite yet, but Bobster is in a spot to catch them on the rotation back. I don't hate this play. Someone just dropped down while spraying. I don't know who they ended up catching there, but Gronky finds Remix on that rotation. Cool is going to be forced back by the Halo drones. Are they re-pushing into the site? They have two downs here early. Gronky might be able to take down some more with Highlight getting downed as well. Only two players still standing. They can't go for the res. On Highlight, Iron Apes, it's their last chance on the map. They have to win the two versus four clutch. Not impossible. But you can see Cute Hamsters flooding out to A. They know they want to go here in these kind of clutch situations for the enemy team. They want to play a lot of deep angles and force them to play so slow. Plus, hey, got some intel there. Somehow it doesn't actually connect. Could have sworn that one would have hit, but they seem to know exactly where Remix is. And this is the path Iron Apes have to take if they want to contest this round. They have to. They can't wait. They can't go for exit frags. They have to push because this is their map life on the line. Wait a minute. Do we not have X-ray vision as spectator anymore? I just noticed this. What? I can't see player not... models through the, like, the enemy team's not highlighted. I guess not. I oh, this like is that. amazing. Well, we can still see the names here. What? Oh, headshot. If he hit the second one, that would have been uh, Yeah, we can still there, see but... the names. That's fine. But yeah. if I can, like, tell you if someone's been marked clearly. Oh, this is yeah. great. I just noticed this. I think I've just been conditioned to it. Uh, for so long hands on downs okay if i see if i see a big old oh. scottish dude running at me with king arthur's sword and he's got 25 armor and all that guy's a pistol i'm jumping off the map i'm closing game i'm going to sleep i'm giving my pc away so 
so you can play on console. I will no my listen I've got a PS4 I haven't turned it on in like three months because I'm just trying to get a PS5 I got a PS3 that only has Netflix Hulu and Amazon Prime Video on it okay so well at least you can watch your own show on your PS3 but you won't be playing no Metro Company on it but you're right number two High Castle Vi I mean Vi seemed I mean I I get it but we haven't seen it in a bit nah I don't get it because it's Frag playing it and that's something we don't normally see from him. So I don't know what he's trying to seek out yeah. with the Vi, but we point. will see. As they start to drop in for round number one. Did you like that, Crescent? I know you liked that. I did. I was I was letting you roll with it. You were you were you were on fire. I was I was letting it I was letting it go for just a little bit. I mean I well actually now that I know that they're on defense, I, I wasn't paying attention to that. I get it a little Well relaxed. defense, offense, it doesn't matter. I mean Tenacity's getting a buff. I don't know if she's gonna get yeah. it back, but <laughs> I'm talking about for Vi. Yeah, I'm talking about like I thought it was gonna be the lockout kitchen, right? Mm, I mean, I, yeah, I understand as the attackers, okay. To try to do something yeah. that'll force them back at the very least, but Just on defense, pods to get rid of th three trophies right away. Yeah, something like that. That's what I'm saying. But it's on defense, so get rid of the trophies, but maybe a little bit tougher. You can see Delano was holding forward. On site, on that close corner. Where is the buy? All the way. Back. Iron Apes are really gonna need. Iron Apes are really gonna have to take a couple of rounds here on the attack because Cute Hamsters is the only team that we've seen be able to be super successful on High Castle attack, whether they're facing a good team or not. So they're gonna have to at least get three, three rounds here on attack. Is what I'm saying. They gotta find something, but at the very least for now, they're forcing them away. The trench might slow things down. They have many members here ready to potentially recommit. What a nade that lands right next to Gronky. They'll get the res. I know to be able to punish it. As they rotate back over, you can see one player lurking over in mid. They must have some idea that Corrupt is We can't see the player around. models, by the way. This is awesome. Yep. We We're can see the their future, names. Luke. I like this. Don't change this, Rogue Company devs. If you're listening, don't change this. At Rogue like Company this. in chat. Don't, yeah. don't change it, but... Well, uh, we appreciate it for now. Two players low on site. They managed to make it in, but what's the game plan after this? Obviously, they have to get in for the defuse. They get a C4 down as well, but Delena caught out by a player who did flank all the way around. The timer is counting down about two-thirds of the way in. They are going to start the defuse. The two players still standing. They have to re -peak it here. They try to go in. The round will go the way of defenders that defuse will be able to finish. Rotation through kitchen, just not there in time. <coughs> oh, sorry. This swallowed too much air when I was about to respond to you. But yes, uh, just the, the rotation wasn't quick enough. Hold on, I need to take a drink. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, Krez, hold on. Blue's lungs overloaded <laughs> out of pure shock from what he just saw. But it, it was too, yeah, it was right. Blue's right. It's too long of a rotation. I'm trying to go that way. Okay, so frag out is playing. I was just amazed they had three people still alive and they were able to defend that. So that was a really good retake with the anvil. So... The Vi did come in handy because she buyed them off and the rotation took longer because the Vi kept them outside so long. So, yeah, that's what I wanted to say before I had to... <laughs> before your up. alveoli burst in your lungs from, <laughs> from breathing a little bit too hard. <laughs> yeah. But I also like, I like that they're holding the Vi kind of far away because that's when they want her, right? They want her a little bit later in the round. So they're keeping her on A just to stop that just in case. And yeah, the pods are no after. good if they're wasted by trophies, right? Plus, yeah. I, I mean, just having her to be able to lock down mid, maybe this wasn't even their pick. Maybe they just couldn't think of something fast enough uh, towards the end of the countdown. Yeah, but you think you, they would have just out. done Seeker? <laughs> well. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's kind of the orchestral, or I mean, I guess not on defense, but that's still should be fine on decide, So maybe an auto pick for him, man. We don't know. Could be. It was pretty early. It is working we'll out, see. though. I, I think it is working out. You have to imagine that this was their pick, right? And it's working out for them because he's playing mid, he's locking it down. If he played Seeker, he's the same guy who has to go through mid. So maybe he just feels more comfortable with Vipods instead of a reveal when he has to hold that mid section by himself, right? Maybe he already used one earlier, but the second one will force them back, taking a little bit of health from Highlight and getting them here in onto the site. Two players forward on the planter. Do they have someone playing for another angle? Can't quite tell just yet. 
have some poke damage getting done already by Gronky. There's the push from the Vibe. I caught out another angle. Highlight doesn't get finished off as well, so it's kind of a sacrificial player there. And it's just the Anvil. Where is he? Back on site. Wasn't willing to push with them, and too many players swarming on him. You said Iron Names have to get a couple rounds on the attack, and they're starting to make good on that right now. I wouldn't say that they took that on attack. I think that was a given from the cute hamsters, the way they just pushed in on defense like that. I think Vi just got very impatient, pushed in. Dahlia wasn't on the same, or Trench wasn't on the same page as him. And then he kind of hesitated by the time he went down there, 3v1. And then we go back to the POV of Anvil, who's just chilling up there, like you said, a little hesitant to push. So, you know, they look like dominoes there. I mean, you got to... He's just like, oh, I got 5 HP. I'm going in. I got 5 HP. I'm buffed. How can they kill me if I have 5 more health? Uh, obviously, it didn't work out. Two players shooting him at once. No amount of health is going to really help you there. But mid control now. The game, name of the game. For Iron Apes. Great C4. Catching out Remix. Seek out. Frag out. Might push a little bit more for it. Will the bounce get anything? It will. Just a frag. Excuse me. We'll get one. Knocking down Gronky. Also fairly low. Stuck in the corner. Now they're getting forced into the angle here by the Vi who's pushing for it. Committing onto his frag. Gronky gets picked up. They're fighting for Corrupt. He's the only one left. Frag out is still down on the other side. But Corrupt is so low. They have an MLX. They're going to run it in. They're going to get the res and the defenders. Going to counter that mid control early. A lot of people starting to opt for that HRM, by the way. The uh, assault rifle that Trench and Dallas use. <laughs> Let me tell you something. That gun with the TTK change might get a little dangerous, okay? So we might see a lot of Dallas uh, assault rifle and a lot of trench assault rifle players next patch. <laughs> Looking like it could be pretty good. I mean, that AR gun's is... all about power, right? You can't, you can't up, no upgrade uh, adds to the clip. So it's 20 in the clip because it's supposed to be powerful. And whew, a body shot change might just make that gun a little crazy. We'll have to see when we get there, but for now, we are still stuck on this patch. That's what Take I'm saying. We're watching Gronky pass. get triples with it right now. See what he can do with it. He's pushing up with it, taking some ground already. Holding close. I don't think they, there's no way they know he's here, but Cool is so close by. Caught him holding a nade, but caught on that roll back by Cool. Couldn't get that resin in time either. And Iron Apes have this mid control, so are they going to shift? No, they're going to... They're going to shift, but it's going to be back over to site. They don't realize how close Delena is, but Delena doesn't even go for it. Wants to finish off the kill, doesn't realize how close by they are. Bobster pushes for this. Caught up by Corrupt, who did make that long rotation, and it's just frag out left on this Vi in a one versus three. Where is he playing behind them? Actually, I'm not sure if they're aware, but he's going to do a long run all the way over to B, where this bomb will get planted. And I think they might have their eyes mostly by Arch, but it looks like they seem to know where he's going to be coming from. Well, now they yeah. definitely do. <laughs> they definitely know now, and we can tell that they know. I love this, dude. This is the this is the best part of my day right here. <laughs> I used to just listen for the audio cue. Sometimes we get the audio cue to be able to know pretty yeah, quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or we, like, look, if we're spectating them, it tells us that they're revealed. This is awesome, though, now. This is great. This is great. Nice to I'm, know. It's working. It's working out for us, but... That push worked out for our names. 2-2. Two, two. The offense, that one wasn't given to him, I don't think. Other than maybe a little over-aggression in, in Oh, BK. yeah, that's what I mean. Over-aggression. It, it, it's kind of like uh, I used to watch this Red Green show when I was a kid, right? And they always said, never as a male say, watch this. Because then whatever you do afterwards never works in your favor. And I think that's what's <laughs> happening with cute hamsters right now. Trying to flex the muscles a little bit too much. Maybe, you know, telling each other, you know, watch this. I can 4K this. And then they just fall in like dominoes and die. They're, they just gave out two rounds. Yeah, they if they want to have a a half you'd expect from the defending team on high cap. If they give up three on attack, I, I think Iron Apes are in a good spot. Yeah, for sure. But cute hamsters, we know they look good on the defense on on the attack, excuse me, on this map. But they're doing something interesting right now. Fragout is literally super far forward there on A. I mean we, we, we got eyes on him or I saw eyes on him a second ago. I'm not sure where he is now, but you can tell he is deep and actually might be in a fight mid sometime soon. You can see a player looking back for him. And no one on the map. They have that idea covered. I guess they must do this fairly often, but playing around mid cut. Yep. There, I got to see him for a second. Frag out way around the backside. He's to the right of Remix right now. Corrupt seemed to have an idea that was happening, but Frag's going very slowly and it's kind of working with the pace of the round so far. Iron Apes haven't taken too much ground. Yeah, and look at the attackers. They just 
they either don't know, don't recognize that there's only three in front of them, or they just don't care. Jelena finds one with re on the remix with the grenade. Oh. They yeah, almost peaked on that bat. Yeah, I was about to say that almost got cool, but the way they're holding right now, they have no idea that Fragat's back there. They're going to use a lot of utility there in that choke point. They're going to feel confident walking into this site, but where is Fragout? Hey, guess what? He's behind. He's going to stop that plant. And now they have to push off of this ASAP, and that's exactly what they're going to do. Two downs here. Bobster pushing in mid, almost winning that gunfight. Remix so low, will finish him off. But now he's the last one standing over in mid, actually pushing through the house. I don't think they know, but it looks like they hear him now. Can't win this one against Elena, though. SMG wins a close range. Three to two. Cute hamsters take the lead once again. I mean, it wouldn't have mattered. Time was running out. He had to get a bomb plant. He's not picking up the bomb unless he kills their entire team there, so... Good play from the defense. Yeah, that took a while for Frag out. I think the attacking, the attackers playing so passively just kind of helped out Frag. If they would have been able to push in fast enough or gotten a pick onto someone on that front side of the defense, they probably would have had a bomb planted and Frag would have been in a terrible position. But mm -hmm. because they played so passively and the defenders held them off for so long using their utility you know, and their abilities, they were able to allow Frag to get into that fight at the perfect time. Yeah, and if Fire Knives only knew, right? If they only knew, if they were, if they had like just one person seeing Frag out on that, in that angle, they could have just ran in and had a pretty big advantage, but just barely too slow for them here. They have mid control though. Fountain in their hands. Mid cut also completely covered. Not sure what Frag out's doing right now. There's a random katana, not going to get anything. These trophies working out so far slowing down this push but again it's a slow pace it's a lot of melees they're just kind of getting chucked out here to try to find something but the first one to find something will be frag out over there on that a site downing and finishing off corrupt so a lot less intel now that iron apes have to play off of so they're going in blind and they're getting downed here delena and gronky both doing a great job it's only remix here on the castro getting shoved by every single member of cute hamsters and they start slow but they push off of any little advantage that they can take all right, you see what's happening, right? They've lost two rounds on defense. Why, Kresnik? Because they got overzealous. They flexed the muscles. They went in like dominoes, right? One by one by one. It's like a clown car. They're just getting out one by one by one. They're getting downed one by one by one. Then what happens? They play a little more passively. If you go back in their VODs, there are countless times where Frag does that long flank all the way behind them from A to B, no matter what character he's using. Fixer, Kestrel, Vi now. Uh, you know, we've seen him do it on Phantom. We've seen him do it on Seeker. So now they're starting to play normal, right? Or, or what I would say is normal. They're playing passive. They're using their utility nicely. And they're not being overzealous. And what's happening? They get two straight rounds. I think they're understanding that it is realistic for Iron Apes to take them down if they play a little too silly, you know? Like, I, I, I use silly is a weird word to use, but, like, sometimes you just play silly. Sometimes you just you just... Try to go for things that you wouldn't go for in normal situations, but this is the 10k, baby. This is where everything matters more than anything. Yeah, it's winner's bracket. They could still go to loser's bracket, but Cute Hamsters likely don't want to do that again. They managed to turn around last time, but have the best chance for success that you can get. Frag and a down onto Delena. Finish him off there. Frag out now rotating back. Oh, can they go with this bat? It's just over Cool's head. The rest of them all forced inside now and corrupt. Lining up for a flank maybe a little bit later as that bomb timer runs down. Ah, but they are in a 3v4. They have the bomb planted. And they have a post-plant position. They need this round. I told you they have to have three if they need mm -hmm. one a chance. And they're in a great spot to do it right now. Gronky down. No one really there to help him out. It's only the anvil remaining. And cool will get the better of Bobster. Three rounds on attack. Not bad at all for Iron Apes. And they're going to go to the superior side now. That's what I was going to say. Three, they need three here. Four would be great. Even more is fantastic. But they need three going into the defensive half for themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, they were gifted two of those. So they have to clean up their defense, not play too over aggressive like their counterparts did in those two rounds that were given to them. So they're really going to have to clamp down. And we see them trying to clamp down. They're getting the seeker for the intel. They're grabbing the trench, the anvil. They don't want any utility flying at their heads. No, they gotta stop everything before it happens. Cute hamsters have a few ways to kind of force some of that out. A couple of arrows every 30 seconds. They have the Kestrel Halo drones. They'll have all the utility that the trench will bring, and we'll see what Delena brings to the table. It'll be the Dahlia. Not too surprising, I'm gonna say. No glitch again. I really think it is pretty good on the... You, you sold me on it, Blue. I'm sold. 
You take on the glitch, point. and I'm, I want to see more teams do it. I was muted for Alrighty. a second. You said I sold you on the glitch? Yeah. Well, I was with, well, like, you can, I was wondering why it was be, being brought glitch out. Glitch is so getting better, me. right? I used to say, yes. I don't know why Glitch doesn't get played. And, and then it was, oh, he doesn't destroy trophies. Then he destroyed trophies, and yeah. he still didn't get played as much, right? And I think it was because a lot of these players in the, in the top, uh, you know, just, we'll, I'll tell you after this. Yeah, we, right we, now we got, we got some action. Yeah, we don't have enough time to really discuss it right now because cute hamsters are getting very aggro. If you're up front, dodging the nade, staying up for now, bounce nade won't connect at anyone, but it will get them some space on site. Well, we get this plant down. No, no one can commit all the way in. I think they realize how far back the other members are. Everyone's stuck inside. Are they rotating all the way to A? They get a bounce nade forced out, can't do too much more out of it. They are splitting the defense, so maybe now this is their chance to actually get in. Two players watching. Another frag comes out a little bit late. Who doesn't know? Doesn't know the buffs there. They got to call it, but he doesn't peek in time. Thought someone else might have been there to peel for him, so he's not willing to overcommit for that one. No blood drawn as of yet, just a little bit of poke damage. No one is willing to actually... A lot of time taken off the clock as yeah. well. Better for the defenders? Definitely. So much. the like, attackers are going to have to start to rush things. Yeah, and that's why you, you they, were, they were decisive at first, but it fell off. And now they're finally making a decision. They're willing to shift over here towards A. It looks like they're going to commit here, but they have someone all the way over on A. Corrupt. Downing two, finishing it off. But Delena trades it back out. We are in a one versus one now. Saint versus Dal. Trench versus Dahlia. Excuse me, going for the push. Gets knocked so low. Can Bobster do it as it goes in headshot close range, but just barely turning it around. The time got too short. q Damsers were too afraid to really commit. And Iron Apes played around it very well. Yeah, it was a really, really good round from them. A lot of chaos ensued, but Corrupt coming up big with a triple there really set his team on the, the front door of being able to win that round. They tied it up because of that. Going back to the, the glitch thing, you see a lot of these players in the top tiers, when they bring out like grenades and stuff like that, you don't see like the arc of being able to aim it. It's because they have their settings where they can bring it out. It won't cook the nade or anything, but they have to click it again to throw it. Mm -hmm. I don't see the competitive advantage. Maybe you don't mistakenly throw one once, but if you have it in your hand, the glitch doesn't destroy it, right? Mm -hmm. So you can still use it after you get the MP. That won't happen anymore after this next update. So maybe won't you'll get played even more. Next update, maybe we'll finally see glitch, but what great timing by Remix. Getting that down. Now here comes the flood. Delena can't make it out, and they just push right back in. Iron Apes look so comfortable. On D on High Castle here, they're, I would say they're waiting patiently com comparatively to Cute Hamsters because Cute Hamsters are just holding W. They're just running it down. Yeah, so the, the first round, they didn't hold W. They played passive. Didn't work out for them. So they said, you know what? Let's change up. Let's go to the other end of the, the spectrum there. Let's just hold W. That didn't work out for them either. So they're going to have to get a pick. They're going to have to find some way to find some success. Yes, this map is more defender heavy, right? We've, we've mm -hmm. said that so many times. Like if, if anybody in chat had a nickel for the amount of times that I've said that alone, you would probably be a millionaire, right? You'd be toe-to-toe -to -toe with Elon Musk. But, <laughs> I mean, Cute Hamsters, the best attacking team on this map right now. They just can't get it done. Iron Apes, they're doing exactly what they need. You're oh. shooting the wall. Bop, bop, come on, man. Oh, he is getting pushed forward. Just face checked by the nade, but Gronky holding close. We'll get one down. Bobster has his angle, though, on the other side of A. And just a ride in the zip. Sometimes it works. You catch him off guard. You get so many shots through that smoke. Unreal. Not sure if it was still there on his end, but it still works out for him. Cute hamsters. They just leave me. Screw it. We don't need it. We're just going to go somewhere else, and it'll pay off. That's crazy. Them. They went across the zip line, too. Not contested. No one was there. No one was well, there. There was someone at the beginning of the bridge towards mid. They could have tried to shoot him across, but the cover fire from the rest of Cute Hamsters was just too good. You saw that's where the, the center drone came from, from mid. Yeah, and they, they, they got the intel on it, so that was, I mean, a good throw by them. But up here, we got to assume Iron Apes are going to change something for this. We, I'm just looking at the minimap. We can see some people here. They see that no one's close by, and now here comes the adaptation. They are shifting. Corrupt is already also there. Oh, but they've already used, what was it, one barbed wire. I think that's all they've used, which is okay. Delena oh. finds Corrupt with the grenade. Can they finish him off? Yes, they can. Oh, and Bot made it across too, so they're already in a position to potentially plant this. But Remix with the Executioner. 
Gets him from a long from long range, and then another one. Remix is doing so much to keep his team in the game. All this all these utility kills are just paying off perfectly for them. Can he even pick up anybody here? Here comes the push. Seek out. Frank out so low. Highlight. Didn't get the res in time, but oh my god. <laughs> he got that res. Didn't react right away. But he had to pull out the gun, and that was just enough time to highlight for turn back to finish off the last player. Yeah, nice play from Highlight there. I like the little, you know, down seeker because he's the lowest health and you kind of swap shoulders, hit that left cover and then peek back out and get the kill. Yeah, you go down, but you still win the round by getting the down yourself. I like this defense being put up by Iron Apes too because not only did they give away A for a few seconds oh. there, but Seeker's still there so he can read it and say, okay, we know what we need to do. Come over here, throw one barbed wire. We don't see anyone right away. We're going to go back towards that A site and they find the kills that they need. And again, the attackers, they're electing to go A again. It worked once, didn't work the second time. Maybe it'll work the third, huh? I like that smoke. That's a really well-placed smoke. It will get them across here. I'm not sure who Sticky Sensor that is, but he makes it on. But are you kidding? What perfect timing. They must have Remix is coming up huge, Chris. Remix is, is, is coming in so clutch for the members of Iron Apes, really keeping them Still in this game. Still only a pistol. When cute hamsters seem to have this, there's the miss on that. But of course, the AR will be the pistol in close range. He'll pick up the bat as well to cancel anyone out. Who might be pushing on to him? Frankout gets the second down as well. Here comes Cool on the push. Wasn't ready for it. Seek out three. Frankout's doing so much on this seeker. Put it down to a one versus one. Everyone on the team is just crawling. And Corrupt is wondering what could have possibly gone wrong here. How did such a good round go so badly? He has the, he has the information oh, first. Reveal the reveal the Hits him with the bat! An absolutely unreal performance to turn it around. That is a, a, a mental destroyer for them, but they're still in high castle defense. They still have a chance, but how can so many things go so wrong? I mean, just off of that great smoke you talked about, being able to put a smoke on the bridge on the side like that yeah. to cover that entire window is brilliant because you have members on your team at the bottom of stairs protecting you from whoever's trying to crossfire from mid bridge entry and then you're going across the zip no one's going to push that hard mm -hmm. into tower at least they haven't uh, maybe they should have because they would have gotten the trench a little bit faster instead of using just the grenade remix can't do it all and he only has a pistol so look at this push here early on they get the down on highlight i thought the aggressive push might not pay off cool so low will they push for more barely missing him tear gas not denying too much, but the small little bit of vision denial doesn't let give him a chance to really fight it. Who has the bomb, though? It's the Kestrel now. They throw it up to her. They smoke off Kitchen. They get a lot of information there on mid as well onto Corrupt. Cool, still trying to deny this plant, but another down there. Delena finds Remix. A little bit of taste of their own medicine. That down here, this bomb is planted, and now Iron Ape's down. Two have to find a way to retake against a lot of guns trained in the same spot. Ooh, barbed wire was destroyed by the APS the first time. Has to go for the second one. Bomb has been planted. 3v2, and just like that, they get eliminated. Man, I told you it was a mental destroyer, man. What a, they, they were not looking great on this offense, but they make that one happen. That aggressive play works after a couple rounds of it faltering in a row. I, that's what I was just about to say. They they have changed up their play style tremendously, and they just look like the normal attacking high castle mm -hmm. cute hamster that we're used to, right? So finally, they're able to find some success here. And they're one round away, but if Iron Apes get the one, they've got to make they some adjustments. Round, they're defending on the overtime round, right? I mean, that's exactly that is like the ideal almost. And corrupt might actually have the, the wrong read here. Because they, they got revealed, but it looks like mid is instead where they want to be controlling here. There's a nade early. They will get spotted. So now Iron Apes know what space they're really trying to take. I'm not sure what Trench is doing. What Cool is really looking for over there, but Remix very defensive. They think it's going to be A, but with that mid control, it could go either way, Blue. Yeah, I'm just waiting to see what this Dahlia will do. She has two people in front of her, and they're able to find her very easily. Seeker going for the revive. I don't think he knows the C4's coming in from Highlight. They had to know, man. They had to know. It was so clear that he was there. It's only Gronk. He left Halo Drones defensively. Finds a second pick. Uses that stim shot. Sees cool. One versus two. But they have to push something. No, he's with the Kukri. 
What a good shot by him, but Reaper is to cool. 13 HP remaining. Didn't get the replenishment and cool chases for it. Evens things out. We're in one final round. <laughs> this literally could not be a closer game. Cute hamsters are are fighting tooth and nail to push this one to a 2-0. Man, I would really love to be able to see what each person's buying because <laughs> Remix finally bought a primary, man. So <laughs> either he was like, okay, enough is enough. I need a big gun. Or maybe he's just bought everything available to him at this point. <laughs> he's just given up. He's given up buying. He's got every perk. He's got every piece of utility. Yeah, he's like, I, I, I upgraded my pistol. You know, it's like, there's no I charity guess. to donate. I guess I'll use my secondary, my, my primary for once, jeez. It's looking like his secondary right now, right? For sure, with how well he's been doing with that executioner here. They're making it in now. C4 doesn't go all the way, Heartbreaker. He's placing those trophies far back too, so they're giving up a lot yeah. of space. They are, and they might be giving up a plant here too, depending, but they are gonna give up a pick. Frag out, early bouncing, oh, killing Karak. That is going to signal the rotation, but they're caught on it. Two down and mid-cut. Frag will finish them off as well. Force them out with that. Will they get the res here? Remix is pushing for it. Two players so close. Cool wants to get the push, but isn't willing to do it. Walks into the bounce grenade. Remix stuck there in the corner. Does he have a nade? This will be three kills if he does, but he doesn't want to spend it. They get the res. Everyone on Cute Hamster is still standing, but they got some reses on their own. From Iron Apes, I like this whole thing. Oh my Ronky. goodness, the smoke and then the quick res. They let them get away with murder. All they had to do was finish those two kills. One grenade to knock them both. They should have been able to throw something yeah. in there to get rid of them. I don't know if a trophy came up late because that trench did go down to the initial knock of the nades. You know what it is, Blue? They have the bomb. Yeah, they, they still push, have, they the have the bomb, bomb in their possession, but I'm just saying, man. You let but them all get up. They have the bomb, but they're in a one on, they're in a three on four, right? They have a gun disadvantage. If they get traded, they lose. So they have to push for something, but they're going to get one for one right now. Still advantage to them. Two downs for cute hamsters. Only 19 seconds to work with. Where is this Dahlia? Doesn't even matter where he is. Remix has to get everything here. Frag out with a bad roll, but still ends up on the better end of it. Somehow, some way, cute hamsters. Turn that attacking half around. Guess it's what we expect from them by now. Eight, two, seven. They will win. The second Mint Bop and Cool specifically have split ah, 50. They okay. are evenly di diverged between both teams. Okay. I was about to start yes. breaking down the... I was about to I was yeah. about to yell at you for... I mean, it, it is... There's ones and twos. I thought you meant out of all eight. No, 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 no. 25% okay. of all eight. Yes, you are, you are right about that. They're one-fourth of the overall game. But they are one-fourth of their overall team. We'll see what, who gets affected by the curse more. Moving down here, but chalk on both sides. We see him no, a no, lot no, 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 no. Bob's just figured it out, man. He's on the team that has helped him. You know, we talk about that bell tower in the middle on Windward. Well, he's mm -hmm. hit the lighthouse, baby. Okay. <laughs> he has hit the lighthouse. Lighthouse used to be on the rock right there to the left. It's gone because he took it home once he figured it out. Well, he has somewhere to put it. He's got to have a pretty big house. Guess can, can get one for right, the some chalk on defense, Kresnik. That's the second time today. On windward, we it's see good. a defense chalk. We usually see it on offense, especially from Boster. Highlight, though, playing the chalk. Something that we've seen him play like three months ago, and he wasn't as great on it. So he's had some time to work on it. Yeah, plenty of time to work on it. I mean, normally, if you want an aggressive aggressive rogue on defense, you pick the Lancer, right? We see a lot of Lancer on D on this map. Too, no, 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 no. I thought about this. Big. I thought about this. Mm -hmm. I think chalk is the aggressive defender spice pick, right? Out of okay. the two, I think Lancer is the trickery one, right? Because we saw it, especially with mid pain. You play a little, little mind games with them. You flank them, then you don't flank them, and then you mm -hmm. play with your team, and then you kind of like half flank them. Enemies the bomb. Yeah, I think I think she's the jester. You can use oh, that I... as a skin idea there, bro. Right? Little, little clown outfit at, at for Lancer. Gandhi. Yeah. Blue's skin emporium. Yeah. Take take notes if you wanna if you wanna have some options here. They get the plan on cute hamsters, but they get two downs right away. Iron Apes basically just gave up the world to them. And now they're moving in for this defuse. Frag out gives up his position. He still can't go for that quite yet. Chalk with the rage coming in. A lot of HP. They are swarming. They are wiping cute hamsters off the map. They'll start that defuse, and that's a pretty good start here. For Iron Apes on Windward. Oh, uh, looks like Cool Man borrowed some of that lighthouse technology <laughs> because he's figured out how to play this map as well. One down, one assist, three in limbs already. Going into round number two. I like this chalk skin. It's pretty good. Kresnik, Sorry. how many retweets yeah. do I need for you to get that tattoo on your arm? Uh, I don't have a single tattoo or a piercing. 
So I you would have to I basically have break Twitter. I have nothing. All right, so how there's many? Only, okay, I'm a huge, there's only one tattoo I'm ever willing to get, and I'm sorry, but. Yeah, that I shock can't. arm tat. It's not that one. It's a much nerdier one that I, I can't possibly get into now. I'll say it at the end of the broadcast, maybe, if anyone actually cares. I feel like nobody does. We're here for some real company, not for me. I'm just here to talk about it and get incredibly high-pitched when exciting things happen. Cannons control already taken. My cute hamster, I'm not sure what else they're going to look to take. Iron Apes, again, kind of just giving it to them, though. This is their defense style, I guess, here on Windward. Yeah, they've got Remix and Corrupt still on a, a late rotation there. Flashman comes out. It does hit one. That pushes him back, so he's not able to get that bomb plant once again. That's twice now they've denied this bomb plant. Without even playing as aggressive as you would normally see a team playing that site. Here's a here's something different though. Last time they gave it up completely and were playing really far back and played for the retake, but now Remix is playing in mid by Fountain. Wanting to catch someone, maybe catch Bob on the way in, but let's seek out. Frag out with the bounce nade. Down's cool. They're gonna push forward. Highlight has to pop the rage. They don't know where he is though. They're not looking. Bobster still does it himself. Extra health be damned. He's gonna win that gunfight either way. No Iron Apes, very different situation. They're in a one versus two. They're isolated in mid. They're gonna have to find a free 2v1, but it's not gonna be easy. Just playing it patiently. They, they're up one. You can give this round away. You still have the economy huh. from the first round, but doing things like that, just walking in there, getting gunned down, that's not gonna help you out at all. Crushed us. Run it again. Huh. Delena just ran it down that round, man. Delena just... just... I just ran in on him. Yeah, he got pushed out. Area. I mean, they got pushed out of their plant twice, but then they realized what they needed to do. They said, okay, you know, just like what Kresnik's saying, they played a little bit more passively the first round. This time they played a little bit more aggressive inside of pit, so they got pushed out of it. Gave it up after they pushed him out. Corrupt yep. remix, way too far away to contest that pit area uh, before the plant goes down. So maybe they'll play a little bit tighter with the rest of their team here. I wouldn't be shocked to see it, because it worked out for them last time when they just swarmed into the site near the very end. But one thing will stay the same. Cute hamsters are still going to take the bomb, it looks like, towards that left side. Maybe it's a fake. They do have one player shift back. Still up in the air here, but that's a that's a change here early. Remix gets the better of Delano. Will they find the pickup on him? No one can really get the res. They might get naded on the attempt to do it. Delano just bleeds out. No chance to do it. This flash maybe changes things. They spend the halo drones as well. Fragout goes so far forward here. But doesn't get anything else, just forces them to rotate in, though. Remix was hiding, had the trigger discipline, but when he actually pulls it, safety must have been on, because Spragout walks away alive. I'll likely get this bomb down fairly soon, but they're shifting into their spawn. I don't know if they have the intel on that. They see Gronky. They know that they're doing something, but they're not rotating to meet them just yet, and this bomb was going to get planted. Ah, oh, look at Cool. And his shock highlight all the way over here. Corrupt playing through that mid now. Pit has been taken over, which means that the bomb will be planted for that side. I, I mean, that's a good move from the defenders, but at the same time, the attackers have the advantage because of this plant position. Yeah, for sure. They'll be able to play around it pretty well here over in Pit. Will they get rushed down? It is a three on three. But you can see, look how far back Gronky can sit. I mean, and there are crossfires on the far right, so Gronky can really abuse anybody who tries to go for the defuse it's about who wins that right side fight and it will be cute hamsters bobster pushes for that gets that one cool down on his attempt to defuse here comes a defensive an ag aggressive defensive push from the attackers to protect the bomb that's been down corrupt one hp left will end up getting gunned out and cute hamsters will take the loot this as it was there i like this i like this i like this they are playing perfect windward attack in these last two rounds they, they played it nicely they knew exactly what they needed to do they recognized that the flank was coming in from multiple people so what do they do they flush out remix take over site take over pit get a bomb planted gronky in a perfect position like you were talking about can't get him off of there unless you push into him and half of that area you would use to get to him is wide open and with another member in your way mm -hmm. yeah i mean t pushing all the way past is so common on this map's attack i think it, it if you can clear people out, you can defend so effectively. And it's easy to get shoved out, right? Because the angles are big, so you get, you're get you kind of holding back already. One piece of utility, you're running away here. But instead, you can just hold close and go for trades that way. Remix, I was about to scream if he lost that gunfight. I would have been absolutely flabbergasted here. Highlight winning this one, though. Bobster still holding close. Last member alive, avoids the melee, wins that fight with his pistol out. But 
Krupp's come in and clean him up. A quick equalizer there from the members of Iron Apes. They didn't even drop a single player. Yeah, that was good cleanups there. I mean, I mean, they did drop the chalk right there, Popster, but good cleanups uh, from the rest of the team. He downs one, gets downed, and then his teammate comes in, finishes him off. They get the re He revives himself with his rage, gets up, gets another, throws the melee, misses it. But, I mean, every time, so the, every, I mean, I think Chalk went down twice. So Highlight's the only one that went down, and he went down twice there. But every time he went down, someone was there to help him. Mm -hmm. So it's just good backup that time from Iron Apes. They even it out at two apiece now. Yeah, very close so far between them. I think Iron Apes... If they're playing a little risky, right? If they're risky, when the risky play doesn't work out, it just collapses right away. That that seems to be the trend with them so far. But they have to really make it work. Trying to hold the same angle again. They realize that Qtam is just not contesting mid and they're surrendering the A-bomb sites and they're getting pretty far forward. Cannon control is in their pocket, but they down cool. He's gonna get rezzed. I don't think that's even a question here. Do they know where he is? Will this bounce nade connect? Monstrous angle, but. Doesn't end up getting actually onto them as they keep yeah. putting on the pressure. Bobster pops the raid. They're shoving. They're not looking, though. The Seeker doesn't know. Neither of them are looking. They're coming back, but somehow they end up in the better of every single part of the gunfight. Semtex gets two. Frag out gets the other. And it's only the Kestrel still standing. It's Remix holding their back on sight. Playing a little bit confident tactical crouching. Nothing off for them. Frag out drops into the Halo drones, and now it's a it's a 2v1. With Remix stuck the up here, gonna go for the res. Well, the bounce need find. It gets a pick. Can't finish it off. Gronky goes for it. Stuck in the Halo drones. And now they should close it out. But he doesn't shoot. Delane is too low to fight. Remix is too low. Gronky gets the res. Punches him out. Delana res. Dahlia res. Actually turns that one around. I think Remix just got all seven of his downs that round. It looked like. I mean, <laughs> whoo, he did it. But I think it was like five. Four or five. Yeah, but, with me. I mean, Remix did everything he could. He got a lot of money that time, but yeah. uh, it's pretty much all he could do was just try and outgun them. Little tactical crouches from the opponents helped them out. But uh, once again, I mean, that early down and then setting cool up for the revive and then pushing into him, that was great. But the ability to push three people in and send two to the top to take out Seeker. That's good prioritization from Cute Hamster. They know exactly where everyone is, and when they gather that intel, they know how to work with it. For sure. They are able to pressure very effectively, I think, with, with any info that they manage to gather from what they get. But nothing quite yet for them. A slower start for Cute Hamsters. Obviously, they're still looking to set up on the same site, but they're not necessarily really going quite as fast as they were in the previous rounds. No one's taking cannon, so right now... Fragout makes his move as Bobster also crosses in. Corrupt is pretty close by, though. He might actually spot them with the bow, which will prompt the rotation, remix, and highlight, looking to catch them potentially over there by mid. But Grunky very far away, actually. If Iron Apes rotate right now, they can take a 4v3. It looks like highlight will rotate, but remix might be holding out a little bit longer, but they're holding in a... I think Corrupt's in a good position as long as his team rotates fast enough because he could just get collapsed on by Cute Hamster as well. This bounce nade, fine. Nothing here. They actually cut it to mid. That's where they want to go instead. Now the players back are isolated, but Bobster will be the first to fall. Flynn gets that trade there. Two for one so far. Who will get revived? Remix finished off. Bobster gets finished off also on his attempts to retreat. So many of them are so low. The Halo drones did so much damage. Gronky. Pushing for this, they get the down on highlight, but Corrupt sprays down two there, back up in mid. It's a one versus one, but they're going to go for the reses instead. The players are going to shift back to the Iron Apes, have three versus like two. This. Now, yeah. Being able to them. just reset all of them, they get all three <laughs> members available for them now. And then quickly gun down one more member. Bomb is out of position for Delaney, he has to give this yep. up. For sure. I mean, they, they get that res. A un, very unfortunate round for Cute Hamsters there near the end. They had a great play, but Corrupt just in the right place at the right time. I mean, at the same time, you have to realize there, there's probably going to be people in chat like, oh, he should have pushed them when he was resing. But at the same time, you push that, you're by yourself because you don't pick up the Dahlia, and then you're in the open, they're behind a the car, they just pop up and two-tap you. So it's a good play for both teams to just chill mm -hmm. for the resets there. Yeah, I think the team's waiting smart, but Cute Hamsters kind of ran out of sync there near the very end, right? They knew there was three alive. They figured they had to be somewhere close by, but only one of them goes to push. Delena ends up stuck there on the low ground. Here's the first time that Cute Hamsters have gone this way. They conditioned them constantly to say, we're only attacking A, only attacking A, but this time, 
They run in, but still manage to get isolated. First pick was their way, but now Highlight tries to get a little over aggressive. Punished there. Cool might also not end up standing again here in this round. Does get revived thanks to the rotation from the Seeker. They want to rest in the Dolly as well. They do get it, so it's three on three now. Some good pressure around the back from them. Just focusing on utility. Are they going to get this bomb plant down? They're hunting for frags instead. It looks like three players holding close. They see Cool on the cross. Semtax way too close. Cool doesn't want to commit there. So no bomb down. Only 55 seconds left, and they're just hunting for kills. Holding close forward. Let's see what they can find, but Iron Apes aren't going to push yet. There's no reason for them to. They're just going to set up positioning to potentially collapse a little bit later. One player high, one player Backing way up and look at Remix's spot. I don't think they know. Finally going to shoot. Great trigger discipline. Gets them low, but doesn't finish them off. Stops the plant. And now time is up. Since for them, corrupt though. Gronky came back from up top. They didn't check him. It's cool going for the push. Will he win this one? Yes! He will. Going to clean up both of them. Remix, last one to fight. But one person hides. The other person hides on the other side. Things just go a little bit better for Cute Hamster. Gronky, man, at any time can just be that playmaker that his team needs. We saw it on lockdown. We saw it in the last game. Now he's starting to do it. I think he's just like, you know, one of those guys that just, he, he, uh, he, he, he's like Sherlock Holmes, right? Time freezes for him when he's about to, to be in a very bad situation. Okay. Mm -hmm. So at first, the first couple of rounds, he's just, he's, he's relaxing, gathering as many clues as he can to how the other team plays. And then. And then everything freezes for him, and he just strikes. Boom! Right there. You like that comparison? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I like it. No, I like it. He's, he's I watch a lot of movies, man. I'm trying to be an you actor do. out here, you know? So I no, do a I, lot of homework. I, I call it homework. I don't know, that makes sense. My mom calls I, it lazy. That's why, here's the, you do it, and you write notes. That's how you turn it around, right? I do write <laughs> notes. That, that's the funniest thing. Oh. She's got to appreciate your craft. Got to appreciate mm. your craft. Yeah. I'm appreciating, I'm appreciating the craft that, that Cute Hamsters have been able to do on this map so far because they have looked great on the rounds that they've won. Iron Apes, I think, have also been been bathing in Cute Hamsters fairly well. I like their quick rotations and collapsing on defense, but I think Cute Hamsters just sometimes the gunfights just go a little bit better for them. Iron Apes are playing the map excellently so far. Cute Hamsters not pulling the chop. On defense, either. No. Had a hiccup, but they will bring out the anvil. Interesting choice, I, I think, for them. I mean, having the shield for the defuse can be good, but look at this highlight. Great timing. Catches out Gronky. It is a one for one, but they're going to walk over and get that res. Wait, cool. Didn't get the didn't get the pickup with the Dahlia. He was stuck way on the other side of the map for some reason. Not with his team. Not with who he's linked with. So we can't get that res. And dude, Amsters just walk in and win. They don't get a chance to res. Cool. Uh, playing on his own. I don't know, man. They had that too because that was a nice crossfire they set up on the top of market to get one. Halo drones had already come out, so that was wasted from Gronky. They played around it, but then they just kind of fell apart. And that's something that we've seen overall in the first two games. Iron Apes, they get out to a good start, and then they just kind of fall apart. That time, I mean, if you condense game one and game two into a summary, it was that round. They start off strong, and then they just they just fall apart. They still recovered on, on the other maps. Everyone has been close so far. They still are in it here. Attack on Windward can. It's a pretty balanced map. It can go their way. Find the better of it this time. I just sincerely hope that Cool is close to his team instead of pretty far away. And at least he's with Corrupt this time. That's all I can say. But there's th multiple players stacked on the right. They could push here onto the A site and take advantage of the isolated players. But Corrupt is down. Cool will get that res. But this could be the bait for the cute hamsters push. Halo drones kind of wasted. No, no way of knowing they weren't shoving in there, but Delena caught in mid. Going to be better with the executioner, though. Traded out. They will get that res. No one close enough to pick up Delena. They're going to try to rotate to help. Here's Bobster and Gronky with their ARs in mid with their primaries. And that stim cool barely making it across. Kill can't finish up anything, though. And cute hamsters down one. Iron Apes can just play their number advantage at this point. Be careful where they plant, though, because Gronky's so close by. Willing to run in and, and, and collapse. They gotta get this plant in pit. See how Frag out actually caught on that hold way back. Remix will finish him off. Cool will get rezzed. And the kills the cute hamsters are getting are just not being finished. You look at this positioning by Remix. Long angle. Gronky, the only one left with one HP. And Highlight will be the one to finish him off. 
Huge round by Iron Apes. They just played so smart around their reses. I mean, seven, 12 reses between Remix and Cool. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was talking about in the game before. They only had six at the end of the game to 10 on the side of Cute Hamsters. Now they're starting to make a difference here because they're allowing themselves to stay in the fight longer. I mean, woo, 12 revives between, what was it, two of them? And then Chalk has like one or two himself. So they've already hit double digits in there. We're only in round 10. It's five to four. They're still down on the scoreboard, but it's looking a little bit better here, okay? Because they're keeping each other alive. They're winning their gunfights and they're able to break past this Cute Hamster's defense. Yeah, now that they're... It's just better now that Cool's actually playing on someone. That's literally just the difference maker. They could actually res each other. If anyone's going to be alone, it should probably be Chalk. Because he can res himself, right? If something goes wrong, he's not just dead and has well, to he's run Lincoln, away. He, I, he's getting Link, so... I guess if anyone plays cool alone, it's the Kestrel. Get the padded steps. Start True. walking behind. True. Yes, he does have... Which we saw the round before. I mean, those long angles yeah. on that flank that he took from Party Box. Yeah, it paid off. Yeah, I think I think the, the the flank paid off then, but now that he has the weapon, it's going to be just as important. Probably why the link is going to the chalk instead. Where is this push going to come from? You can see Iron Apes are being spotted. Gronky though surrounding, they're kind of getting isolated over here by cannons by this cafe. They're not looking behind though, so this flank by Gronky has to be so impactful. There must be a smoke up, right? He didn't see it. Gronky comes in though. Was it a bait highlight? Takes him down, eliminates him right away. Almost no damage done by this Kestrel. Corrupt got low, but wasn't finished off. Remix with another here. They are just baiting out Cute Hamster's rotation, and they're going to walk in. They're going to get this plant. Cute Hamsters have to win a 2v4. Oh, no, wait. Are they going to... They, oh, they might have had a free plant. Monster up. might be close. In. Okay, they're going to they're gonna get this defuse. You can see... Oh, they're going to plant. Excuse me. You can see they're spraying that area. Now they're stuck, and I have no idea... Where Delena is. Oh, on a wide flank and losing the fight immediately. There's the push on to Bobster and Ironix tied up. It's looking a lot better for Iron Apes here. They're, they're finally starting to iron out those uh, those wrinkles in their game plan that they had. Chalk in a little bit more aggressive when he needs to. Not really throwing his life away. He has the Dahlia link to play with so he can use that rage you know to initiate the fight instead of having to waste it on reviving himself and like you said cool match just playing with his team now because if he, chalk still has to use his rage to revive himself if dahlia is too far so mm -hmm. now that he doesn't need to worry about that because cool is playing with him he can get very aggressive with the flashbang rage up go in you know just like an ape bang that chest and head in there living up to their namesake for sure not the iron part and that's for the wrinkles Ape is for the aggression, and it's paying off. But again, they weren't that aggressive last round. I think they they, they just baited constantly. They waited and baited all of the members of Cute Hamsters in. And if Cool pushes this angle, he might find someone holding by. If Fragout's not necessarily ready for it. But small change here. Delena holding right on sight. Just getting some sort of intel. Cute Hamsters are waiting patiently across this b could be pretty wide open although obviously the member in mid can rotate but they're going to go to this site they get the reveal delena forced back and this clinical slow clearing of the site by iron apes has been paying off uh, going across zip i was gonna say they were playing pretty close inside that zip alley but they finally are able to just break through oh. get off of this once pushing delena off work finds one is seek out aka frag oh. Finds one, just gonna reveal him on the ground. Oh my goodness, I love that we can see this now, man. Look at that, almost getting away, but caught on that rotation. And again, cool, with a teammate, it, he's the one that can't be isolated. He can't be caught alone because he's meant to revive other people. He's gotta be careful, man. He is just losing some of these fights while isolated, and now it's just corrupt. In a one versus three, while well, one's still down. Uh, he's not gonna be able to stop this res, but he will down another player. Really wishing he had that bounce nade now. Won't be able to make it in anyways, though. Time will run out. That will go to Cute Hamsters being on the defense. Man, I am not used to seeing Cool being only two downs on the board compared to everyone else in double digits by this time. It's interesting to see. Yeah, he's got seven revives, but last round he got caught out. And because he mm -hmm. got caught out, tried to make it across wasn't able to do so there was no smoke availability because 
He is the guy with the smokes on his team, right? So mm-hmm. just him going down really changes the pace that the attackers have to play with because they don't have that revive potential. Yeah, Kestrel can have helping hand. Yeah, Seeker has lifeline, but he has to do it by hand. And and you get forced out of position to do it too, and all that doesn't end up paying off. I think you hamsters might have the read on this one. Already caught someone from that high ground to the low ground, just the chalk. They trade out one, but it is a one for one. Rocky Downs corrupt in the process. More they can get from it. Here's the shove from Bobster Downs. One with the MLX. Only the Dolly is left standing. It's just cool. And he can pick up his shock, maybe. Cool with another down. It's just Bob. He's gonna go for the res. Can he pick up his shock? Cool. Not starting the res. Was there a second down? I'm not sure. Cool caught in the rotation. He downs highlight. The shock dies as well, and Bobster dives in. Mike, look at this movement, man. He was using the shield to place, you know, around his teammate and then yeah. fake the re yeah. fake the revive to force Cool to push into him. Otherwise, he's in a 2v1 situation. Did, did Highlight so. get down twice, Blue? Yeah, it did that earlier in a different game where it kind of bugged. He got killed three times. But I'm so, saying he didn't have the Dahlia res? Did he use that already, like immediately? I I totally missed it if he did. I I Cool just... was too far away. He initially. was right next to him. No no no. Cool didn't use it because there was someone aiming at him, and then by the time he was open for it, he was too far. Is what I'm saying. Got it. Just uh. He also could have rezzed him. I, I mean. Could have, yeah, but he he pushed I was instead. Kinda I was kind of watching corrupt get wrecked, and then watching Bob's yeah. movement. So true. I was trying to keep an eye on him, but couldn't quite do it. Now Iron Apes are shifting back to what worked for them in a couple rounds, but they aren't realizing the cute hamsters are kind of adapting to the very slow play. Oh man, remix almost shredded on that rotation. Look for something. Highlight finds back out though. That's gonna be likely the way that they get in here this this nade has to get a kill for him bounces up huge nade onto gronky they're gonna shove in off this it's only the dahlia left up already and delena just torn apart on that rotation great rotation for them there seven to six iron apes need one more to push it into ot Match points. Let's get it. keep themselves alive but like you said they're down two zero in the set and now they are on the brink of being sent to the lower bracket here Whew. Tough one. Pressure's on. I mean, you're still in when you get knocked into low losers, but you know you gotta play more games. You don't want to have to deal with that. They're trying what they can, of course. Keep themselves up here in winners. Not have to play through the rest of the night. Team 6, though. Iron Apes. I doubt they're gonna get given a kill like that again. It's just not realistic to have that happen. Who is pushing up in mid? Someone is close. You can you can see. It looks like it's Gronky right there looking for a Halo drone, I'm assuming. They might have an idea that he's there. They're not spending an arrow for it, though, this time. Looking for something here. And, and no one's really pushing. Gronky now rotates to A, and A is not looking like a good place to be. Right now. Nade, not going to find anyone. No one is close enough. Delana actually disengaged, so nothing found from that one. Frag out. Gonna see absolutely nothing with this arrow. So that's gonna give him a very good idea where they're coming. He's gonna come and play over by this rotation hole between mid. And there they don't see Bobster. This could be disastrous if they think this area is clear. Is anyone gonna be watching? It looks like Cool might be just waiting for it. For someone to push. Here comes the plant. Bounce made. Downs highlight. That's gonna open the door for cute hamsters. Potentially eliminate them here. Bobster with the flank. They get one down. Corrupt evens it out. Might get this pick up. But Gronk is pushing him. And he turns away. Halo drones. Get him low, and they go to finish them off. It's only the Kestrel remaining. It's Remix here on site. Has to win a one versus three. Gets one down, gets the second, but gets traded right away. They're going to get the defuse and cute hamsters. Three nil Iron Apes. One of the closer games we've seen. The cute hamsters in recent weeks. They still yeah. take them down 3 0. You know, when, when you look at this in hindsight, you're going to be like, oh man, it was a 3 0. It wasn't close. What are these guys talking about? But at the same time, I mean, 